The question is, do you live your life only to get to the end of it? Most people answer this question with a no, but not everyone lives like they mean it. Do you live like you mean it? In our manic society, people exhibit a frantic neurotic behavior that, as again, Robert has coined destination addiction. And I know I have suffered for this, I'll, suffered with this a lot of my life. And at least now I'm mindful of it. So I try to check it back. This addiction to the destination is a major block to success. And I'll add that it's basically that saying, you know, enjoy the journey. It's not about the destination. You want to enjoy the journey. I actually wrote that on a post-it note to remind myself of it because, you know, if you're somebody who's ambitious and, um, you know, have big dreams in life and want to contribute and have a lot on your plate, probably my, pretty much everybody probably listening to my show and certainly my subscribers, <laughs> that's how we are, right? Well, you know, you might be goal-oriented and you're always trying to achieve and make progress and contribute and grow and learn, well, you can be, you know, bordering with destination addiction, trying to check off those achievements and focused on the end result. But you do so at the suffrage of enjoying the journey, right? Enjoying the evolving. Do we enjoy the evolution of the transformational period? You know, it's like nature doesn't rush, Okay, and when you think of a little caterpillar that, you know, bursts out of a little cocoon, it doesn't all of a sudden, woo, turn into this gorgeous butterfly and fly all over the world. No, it's a process, right? And without one of the steps of the process, the butterfly would never be able to fly and, and live and flourish. In fact, there was a famous study done where a scientist there was one uh, caterpillar that they were studying that was struggling to come out of the cocoon. And basically, the scientists intervened, which they don't normally do, no matter how um, emotionally disturbing it might be to try to help the little creature. But they thought they would help it out, and they helped open and crack the, the little shell so the butterfly could, could um, fly out because it was suffocating, it was stuck. But what happened was when they opened the shell and the butterfly tried to fly out, the butterfly took a couple jumps or whatever and basically collapsed and it ended up dying in a short order because what they learned was through the breaking of the shell, and this goes for many reptiles and different animals for that matter, through the process, through the struggle of breaking through that shell, there's a biological event that happens in something going on uh, chemically with the coating on the inside of the shell has some kind of mucousy liquid that in breaking through, it rubs off on the little creature and, and impregnates them with whatever chemicals they're going to need in order for the wings to develop properly and be able to spread and totally fly. Now, I might not have that completely biologically technically right, but the point is, <laughs> for this discussion, is that without that critical step of the struggle, which is interesting symbolically, not only literally, the, the creature does not get the process, the end result, absolutely critical for its ability to live and to thrive. So when the, when the scientists intervened and out of good heart tried to help it out, the person actually ended up killing the creature. So with life, a lot of times we have to remember that process is part of the evolutionary period and it doesn't feel good, right? Who likes a struggle? Hence the term growing pains, right? They're not fun. We try to skip them or, or wish we could just catapult our children or our animals or our friends or whatever past them so they don't have to deal with them. But what we also know in our wisdom is that oftentimes, more often than not, they're required in order to shape you into the person 
who's going to be able to handle the new level of consciousness that you're going to now be operating from. At least that's something that I've learned, that the struggle, although not fun, is often required. It's required in order to give you the strength, mentally, physically, emotionally, to be able to withstand and uphold this new consciousness that you will now become. So we can't be afraid of the struggle, and sometimes we have to embrace that journey no matter how long it might be. Thank you.